share a quick project with you. I am in a swap with Betty who is Scrap Passion 01 here on YouTube. I will put a link in the description box to her channel so you guys can check her out. We decided to alter a box and put in 10 handmade embellishments inside the box. So um, the box I've already done a video for, it was actually a design team project for Lavish Laces. I will insert the video here on a card so you guys can click on that and then um, it'll open up another screen so you can watch that video if you're interested in details about the Shabby Chic box that I love that I created for her to hold in her embellishments. Now when she gets the box or Betty when you get the box, it, the embellishments will be on the outside of the box because they cannot fit in there in its packaging. So once you take the embellishments out put them in a box, they'll fit. So, or you can just display it openly with the embellishments packaged up in there. So you'll see that. So what I'm gonna do is, and I have to apologize in advance, I packaged up everything as far as how I was gonna present it to her. So I'm gonna try my best to, to share. So that's why I said it's a quick project share. And this is actually um, a design team project for the Cutting Cafe. I will also insert a video link in the description box you can see these in detail but what I did was use the bowl file from Regina's shop the cutting cafe it's super cute I love this Prima Epiphany paper it's so shabby and I just love it. it's basic colors but I love it so these are um, um, shabby buttons and clothes pins that come from Daiso actually but I wrapped them in these um, boxes that she can reuse so that's my embellishment or it's an embellishment within an embellishment because she can reuse these boxes and repackage something else in there so that I made these two um, for her I love those super cute um, also um, as a design team project you guys know I love doing two-in-ones I just don't like to waste I don't like to waste paper time or crafts on something so if I can do two-in-one I'll do it so also a um, design team project was uh, from the Cutting Cafe in that same video I used these boxes there and you can get them there so this is I made those bowls again so you can see super cute bowls so she has packaging that she can repackage with the bowls on top that she can use and then she has bowls bigger and smaller bowls in here that she's able to use if um, she'd like to so that's uh, we only had to make 10, but you know, you know how that goes. And then I'm trying to figure out the things that I've already done videos for. Here's another one. This was a um, Christmas co-worker gift, I believe. I'll put the video down. Just check the box for all the stuff. And these are clothes pin, alter clothes, alter magnetic clothes pins. Yeah, it was a teacher gift, um, co-worker craft fair tutorial. So You'll find that link down there, but super cute, shabby, the purple and pink add nice accents to this paper, so I love it. So that's the other thing that I created for her. This isn't all going to stay now, is it? Okay. And I made some, this was actually a clip from one of the swaps. Super cute. I think it's a teeny tiny charm embellishments. A teeny tiny embellishment swap. I believe but it went perfectly on here but good colors it was great that that's add something to this packaging which are another set now these are double bowls so if you see I just love how these bowls look let me see see these little bowls from the cutting cafe super cute tiny little bowls now these actually are from the silhouette online store and they're double bowls and I have stickled them really, really good. Now, hopefully you can see through this packaging. Um, see that shine? They're, they're stickled and they have that. Two of these have the pink buttons and then the other one have these white ones. I mean, they're, it's just so cute. Gosh, they're so cute. I almost want to keep them, but I could make some more, I suppose. So, this one I do have a tutorial on. They're all my altered hearts um, made out of cards layers of cardstock lots of wallaker craft flowers beading from michael's this is actually another um teeny tiny embellishment that i put up there from the swap super cute that's a glue string 
Um, but I look at these hearts. Like, I love it. Love, so shiny. I hope you guys can see all the twinkle that's in there. I'll put a tutorial, I'll put the link for the tutorial for these. I might just do, you guys let me know if it's just redundant and overkill. I might just do like a tutorial series of all these handmade embellishments. You can have them all in one um, series, but I guess, I don't know, don't make sense if I already have the video up. Um, let me know below. So the next set of things that I made, I cut these envelopes out on my uh, Cameo using the paper collections. Super shabby. I altered some hangers and I put them on this Tim Holtz Baroque die. So this is the first set. These, if you remember, these hangers were from the Michaels Dollar, Dollar Fifty bin. I just took off that orange, awful orange and gold color that they had on there. Awful colors, but um, so I and I added my own paper and then they're popped up on a pop dots and I have lace and then another cute little banner. I cut out all these little banners from my, my cameo. So they're different shapes. And this one happens to have a little flat back um, bling piece and then another little dot at the top. Bling dots. Gorgeous. And that fits in there. And then the second one that I made, I love this one. It's more of a the typical shabby. This one's a scallop banner and this one's just like a rectangle, tattered rectangle. I have some flowers in here, stickled them. There's some beading, some flat back pearls underneath there. Love how that turned out. Super cute, fits in that envelope. And then I made some of these flowers. Like I said, they're all packaged up, but I hope, hopefully you guys will be able to tell. And I used the top note die from Stampin' Up. And I love these flowers. They are so quick and easy to make. And you can make a ton of them and gift them. And I used the paper on the background and I shimmer. They're super, they are super, even the top note die is super shimmery. And this is um, using the um, Tim Holtz die and some stickles and some lace. Just layers after layer. Really, really cute. That's that one and the second one is pretty much the same. So, so pretty. And all I did was um, flat back pearls and then a ribbon buckle slider on the top to add some pizzazz. And um, I also made a set of four of these cute little things. This is also, this, <laughs> these, this is also from my teeny tiny embellishment swap. And if you can see, these go, kind of have them, or you can put them any way you want, but kind of have them so the banner goes to the right. But I used a Martha Stewart punch several times, and then some flowers and some leaves all stickle, and then I created a cute little banner. She can add a little word, a little sentiment there, or leave it like it is. Even one of those Michael's beads will work. But I left it blank for her to do what she want with it. She could just leave it be. The banner can go down. I mean, it's super cute. I love it. And I love this shimmer on here. And the stickles. So hopefully you guys are able to... There's a good one. So a set of four for that. I know I'm... I know I'm past my ten, though. I, but I just love it. Last but not least, another little embellishment from the swap. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, I love them. It's just... I'm going to see if you can see. No, it's not going to work. But in here is a um, brad. So it's a brad, but then I glued it and then threw that powdery Martha Stewart glitter on there to create so it would be like a bud of a flower, the middle of a, of, a, of a flower bud, like the middle of the daisy. That's how I kind of wanted it to be. And then I handmade the pinwheels, and then I stickled them and added two picks to the back so they can slide in her card if she needs them to hang off the side or something or she can just take them off and add a pop dot to the back super cute made her set up for that so um these are all my embellishments i will put the link below in the description box to this flower one because i know i have a tutorial on it i also have a tutorial um or show and tell of these bowls and these boxes and i have a tutorial on these clothes pins already so 
if you want, um, I don't have one of those. Um, if you are interested in like, like how I do the Christmas, the craft fair, um, series, let me know. I'll try to recreate these and, and put them in a series of, you know, videos for a playlist or something so let me know like the video if you like it guys if you liked it or learned or just looking at shabbiness show me some love and support hit the like button leave a comment let me know what you think let me know you're out there thank you guys so much for watching bye